Hey guys, welcome back to the Board Gaming Blog. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't done one of these. I don't remember what was the last time I actually. I don't remember the last time, but I know I remember mentioning about the animations, which was awesome. I can't. I was happy about that. I updated a little bit, a little bit of the animations. Um, when I, how I had it before, it was actually the performance was really slow. So what I had to do was just pre pre skinny or pre transform them during initialization. So so let's say if I had like forty animations, that will create forty different models, and it will have all all of its um. Let me. It will have all of its animations already in there, so I don't have to do it during the update. Okay, so this is my skin mesh class. So basically, I have a number of animation meshes. Yeah, you can see it through here. Basically, this animation count is basically the number of keyframes that animation has. So depending how many keyframes it has, that's how much animations I have in there, or, or meshes count. And all I have to do is just grab that mesh in that index, depending on the animation frame. Which I updated in here in my update, so I increase it by the DT times some speed, and depending on the animation keyframe, then that's mo I'll be getting that model, and then I do the other stuff that I have to do to render it, which was also uh, which is a lot faster now. I don't have to lag. The, the performance will be really slow, and I'll I can put a lot more in there, a lot of more animations in the game. At least when it comes to my computer, since my computer still sucks. And I also updated my list class. I I actually included a middle and a last. A last node and a middle node, I guess you could call it. And I just included it so to make my linked list class a little bit faster. So to save uh, the item that I'm getting. Let's say I mean, in my array. I have an operator for it. If I if I get it somewhere in the middle, a little bit over in the middle, then I could go through in the middle um, pointer or node instead of going from the beginning and looping through all the way to it finds it at that index. So I think it'll be a little bit faster that way. And yeah, I have a bunch of other stuff. Oh, let's run it. I have a whole lot of things going on now. I had a door, so I was actually looking at. It some mazes on YouTube and found out about Wolfenstein and I had, and I noticed the doors that it has so I decided to put some in my ma in, in the maze they're huge but at least it works I, I mean I'll have to create like a um, another mesh outside so it could be the frame of the door but I'm kinda lazy to do that right now so I got enemies now I got the grunt working with the animations, which looks awesome. I got the face huggers in here, which they can go on the walls. Which I didn't show you guys last time, but now I have it working. So, yeah. Hopefully it loads. I added uh, my spotlight as well to my gun. And I included normal maps, so you can see a little bit, a little metallic, whatever. Looks a little bit 3D-ish. I think I should increase whatever. Okay, so let's so you can open doors now, which is awesome. And I think there should be an enemy in here. I remember putting one in here. My computer sucks, so the frames are a little bit slow. Oh, there it is. So I got it has animations now. It has a normal map on it, so it's a little bit weird. There's a grunt, you can see it running. So I can shoot it. It can attack me too. I reload. And kill this guy. I don't have a death animation for it, uh, so I just creating some particle effects on it and 
These are the nest that they, the face hugger comes out of. I don't have a, like a model for it, so it's just a cube. So if we get close enough, they will come out. So they'll follow you, and then they will jump at you. It's, yeah, you can see it here. And they have a, like, and I don't have a death scene for it either. So, and the animation for the face hugger, face huggers, I actually created it myself. Because they didn't have one, and the animation kind of sucks. I'm not an animator, so yeah. So I got some ammo here, and some health packs, and some stuff in here. They rotate, and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I still have a lot of stuff to work on. I started to put the music in here. I'm trying to create some screen effects as well. So when the enemies attack, it will scratch the screen or something. So if we destroy these, it will spawn a lot of face huggers. So see, they all exploded and they go off the walls and then they can jump at you. It's a little bit dark. Uh they disappeared. I lost them. Okay, and collisions are fine, I guess. I should, I should create my bounty box a little bit bigger so I won't go through the wall or something. You know what I'll do, guys? Give me a second. I'll make this scene brighter. Give me a second. Let me go to my shader real quick. Make the scene a little bit brighter. Whatever, it <laughs> So I got my spotlight here going on. I think if I take out the color, it will actually draw it. Put my ambient as one, just to the point five. Let's see how that looks. And uh, other things I have to work on this maze is that uh, I have to create that the, the winning state, or whatever, when you reach the end of the maze, the death scene, and all that kind of stuff. Just, but I'm saving that thing to the end, since it's kind of easy, so I'm not worried. Too much about it. But yeah, and if this loads any faster, it's, well, it's still dark. I mean, my in my screen is a little bit like brighter. What if I just take? I just render the texture. And my room is dark right now, so yeah, I don't think it's just a camera. I mean, I won't have the spotlight anymore right now since I'm not doing it. So hopefully, it's not too dark. And this song is stuck in my head right now. Um, it's the Aisley Brothers. This, um, in the shout. I don't know if you guys heard of that song. It's stuck in my head right now. Yeah, this is the game. It's a lot brighter now. But I'm making this game a little bit scarier. So it's a little bit darker. It should be darker. But it's only brighter right now because of the phone. So I was here. Shooting this on the, the, on the nest. Oh. Where did this guy come from? So you, you can see this guy, the grunt. Oh, yeah, I remember this enemy inside this drawer, so he can't attack you. They launch forward, so that's why it does that. And I also have the have the health bar here, as you can see. I used the Halo health bar. If I'm already using the arms on Halo, might as well use the health bar as well. Uh, 
trying to place my mouse in here. Or my, my camera. Uh, so much detail in my Windows phone. <laughs> I'm serious. It was way much easier. It's a little bit low. Sorry guys. So yeah, and I had the mini map, I already mentioned that last time. The red area is basically the lava and the green area is just the acid. And I already showed you guys a health pack, some of the ammo. Open this door. You can't open this door, you need to, um, this basically needs a key. And there's some of the traps in here. Oh, I mentioned about traps. I also have this. Basically, this is my teleporting area. So there's gonna be in me um, this maze or my game is involves puzzles and kind of stuff. So you basically can, um, well, you not render, but instantiate this, and depending where you're at. So if I'm response in your area and I can teleport to that area so I could go all the way over there and basically I want to use it for this this is our traps and it go in one direction and once it reaches to the other side it will come back so it goes for it keeps going back and forth so and in order to reach the other side you'll have to use this the teleporting thing And it's kind of buggy right now. Well, you guys know what I'm trying to do. So let's, I'm going to activate the button real quick. So I got these guys. Uh, I just want to activate the button so I can show you the other areas of the game real quick. It's a little bit laggy, it's laggy, laggy. Like I said, my computer sucks. So there's a good example of my of what I want to use this for. So like I said, I could teleport to that area over there, and it will be over there. So this is the button. I have like a ray cast going on, so it will only appear when you're actually somewhat looking at it. And you turn it on, and you got platforms going over there, but you can't go over there, you have to find another way around it. And as you can see, there's lava. I mean lava, what I'm talking about is acid. So let's go. So basically that's all I wanted to show you guys with the platforms. I don't think I ever showed it to you guys last time. I don't remember. But it's not like a big deal. Like, ah! I need a death scene because I, I should have died a long time ago. Uh, I think it was this door. Yes, it's this door. So now you can open it once you activate the button. And you have these, and for this you also have to use the teleporting thing. So you can go on top of the platforms, you'll follow it. Which is so much easier than I thought it was. Yeah, that's the only way you can reach the other platform, otherwise you can uh, fall on the, on the acid. But yeah, basically that's what I have wanted to show you guys. It's not a um, big deal. And I realized I still had the button in the screen. I didn't realize that earlier. So there's a bug. But yeah. 
Let's throw some buggy and stuff in here. I'm gonna have to add some sounds and all that stuff to finish it. I still have three more weeks to finish this this game or this demo. It's not really a game yet. This is the demo that I gotta choose because I'm about to graduate. I need once this quarter ends, I still have one more to go, and that'll be my last one. If I don't fail anything, which I hope not, I don't think it's gonna happen. But yeah. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And I still have to do a. I still have to render a um a limbo. I already have one recorded. I just have to render it a little bit. Which I may do it on Tuesday since Tuesday I don't have school. So. Keep that in mind. You may see one on Tuesday. So yeah, I'll end it here. So see you guys. Signing out.